Hey everybody, today I'm going to be creating five cards using the Spellbinders March Card Kit. They are super simple cards and I have a video of everything that comes in the card kit and I will have it linked in the upper right hand corner. This is the first card I'm going to create and I started off by using the rectangle die that comes in the kit and just embossing just to add more texture to the card. And in the card kit, you get everything you need to create these cards, except the die cut machine itself. If you don't have a die cut machine, you definitely can get this kit. It has lots of other uh, printed die cuts, papers, embellishments, adhesive, things like that. But it is geared towards uh, people with a die cut machine because it does come with a a lot of little dies that you can create super simple cards. So I did use one of the dies and the gold paper that comes in the kit and I cut out this circle and you could see it has little hearts, it's super cute. And now I'm just layering some of the die cuts that come in the kit, the flowers, they are really, really pretty. And I am using some Nuvo glue only because it was a little bit easier to get in some of those um, little more detailed um, areas on the die cut but it the card kit does come with adhesive so um, you can definitely use what is in the card kit so I wanted to give the card a little bit more dimension so I popped one of the flowers up and then now I'm going to just kind of play around with the sentiments and then I uh, used some stickers that came in the kit and it says smile today also the little banner, the little purple banner is a die as well. So again, you get everything you need to create these cards in the kit. So I wanted to add just a little touch of something else to the card. So I'm using these little hearts that came from the circle die cut um, and they are gold. Super cute touch to the card, I think. All right, so here is the next card. Again, it is a really simple card and everything I use will be in the kit. So I'm showing you that I use this die and I cut out the center to it. You can, um, you don't have to do that for this particular card, but I did die cut a bunch of uh, the dies before I started assembling my cards, I found that it was easier for me to come up with card designs. And I think it's a good way just to use the paper. And then you can just kind of, you know, pull one die cut or the other and just kind of play around instead of having to um, do them one by one for each card. So I just had a bunch on hand and then uh, just kind of played around with placement and what I wanted on each card. So it has these like, they're not vellum, but they're more like plastic, like clear uh, acetate pieces. And this one had a doily on it and I just thought it was so gorgeous. So I placed it down on the card and then I used that die cut and then I added a uh, sentiment uh, femora piece, I guess. Uh, says sparkle every day and then I added two banners and you do get the die to die cut out the banners as well and then I added a flower uh, die cut and then this really cute flower that comes in the kit and um, now I'm just adding again those hearts that you get from die cutting out that circle and again if you want to see everything that comes in the kit I will I had uh, linked that in the beginning of the video, but I will have it linked in the description box below and also over on my website and with more pictures and everything like that. So be sure to check it out. All right, so here is the next card and I do love the color purple. So I did use a lot of purples and pinks for these cards and I'm just showing you here that I uh, cut the rectangle out and it actually embossed a really cool design on here and I wanted to keep these cards really simple I do more mixed media style projects and cards but I wanted to be sure that if somebody that is new to card making or paper crafting wanted to pick this kit up uh, they weren't overwhelmed with the process or they weren't thinking how am I going to do this so they are pretty simple but you can definitely add you know different touches to them if you want. So I 
added a piece of the pattern paper that I cut down and then a, a floral die cut that comes in the kit. And then again, this is a banner that I cut out with one of the dies that comes in the kit. And then I'm just going to place it with some um, foam adhesive that comes in the kit as well. And then I'm just going to place this sentiment and it says love and laughter. And I wanted to keep these pretty general, I guess, so that I can just send them out to whoever or if I need it, if I need a quick card, I can grab them and have them on hand because they don't take any time at all. And I will definitely be making more cards too. So be sure to um, head on over to my Instagram so you can um, see those when I do make them. All right, so here is the next card. And I don't think I said in the beginning of the video, but you do get the card bases, uh, which is really nice. They aren't a standard card size, but they are nice and they do come with envelopes. So, which is really, really nice because you can make a ton and send them out and you don't have to be searching for uh, envelopes that fit this card size. All right, so I am just layering all a bunch of different uh, die cuts and uh, different pieces that come in the kit. I first layered a clear acetate piece and then I did cut out uh, a fishtail banner and it's really simple to do. And then from uh, some of the pattern paper that comes in the kit. And then I cut in half one of the circle uh, die cuts as you could see there. And then I'm just going to place uh, this rectangle that I die cut onto some foam adhesive. And then I will place the sentiment. And this is more of a chipboard embellishment. So it gives the card a little bit of dimension and interest and it has some gold foiling on there as well and now is probably my favorite card and probably the simplest card I think so I cut out a piece of the um, cardstock and you do get a handful of different colored cardstocks in the kit and I am using the adhesive that comes in the kit and is super strong and um, I'm just layering this piece on top of the card base and then I will add this die cut which is my favorite it's super pretty the florals and then the gold foiling and then this sentiment that is die cut for you already in gold and I pop it up on some pop dots just to give the card a little bit more dimension and interest could see here I did have to cut down a couple of those little foam pieces but it wasn't you know it's not hard at all to do and then I just add this little flower here little purple flower and it has glitter in the center and it just adds a nice little touch to the card and then I'm going to be adding some of the gold hearts that I had laying around from cutting out uh, that circle die and that is going to complete this card. I'm just going to kind of flip through the cards to show you. I still have a ton of product left over and I will definitely be making more cards with a kit. It was super fun to create with this kit uh, and show you guys how you can create super simple cards with one kit. Here is a couple more videos you might enjoy. I love reading your comments, so please leave me one down below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it on social media, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.